What up, C-Squad? It's your girl, and I am back again with another video, and today's video is going to be my current favorites video. Um, I have a not a lot to mention, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys and tell you guys about some of the products that I've been loving. Um, some things are new and some things are not new. Um, I did not film a uh, 2017 uh, Beauty of the Year type um, video just because, like, I don't know. I just really didn't feel like <laughs> I really didn't feel like it. And I use a lot of the products that I was going to mention in that video in multiple multiple videos so if you've been rocking with me for the longest you guys should know what I've been loving but I do want to mention some of the current products that I've been loving here in this video so if you guys want to see what I've been loving currently then go ahead and keep watching okay so um, I have some things here that I want to mention the first thing I'm gonna mention is just some lashes just go ahead and get these lashes out of the way um, the first lashes that I want to mention is the salon perfect lashes and these are in this style of uh, 614s I do love these and um, I love these for like those no makeup days or just those days where you don't want to be bold or extra I definitely love those for them type of days um, and they're super long and wispy too and this pack I got from Walmart I think for like five bucks and then like it comes with an extra pack you get like a bonus pair in it so I definitely definitely love these and if you're looking for affordable lash that's like you know an everyday type of lash I definitely definitely will try this out okay now if you're looking for something that's extra bold that's super extra um you need to try these uh kiss couture faux mink lashes and this is in the style midnight um y'all see me use these all the time I talk about these all the time in my videos um I definitely have yes I definitely have been obsessed with these lashes like these lashes are so bomb I just put them in here to make them look good but y'all these lashes are so crusty but I'm not ready to let them go yet so yes these I have been loving for a while now, so I wanted to mention these. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to be picking up stuff, y'all, because I don't know. Up next, if you guys have been rocking with me for a while, you guys know I'm not like a blushy blush type person. But lately, I have been into blush, and I've been into those like new like coral brushes. And so this is, what is this? This is the um, BH Cosmetic um, Profes Professional um, Tint Color Palette. And these shades right here, these two shades, and then these two shades I have definitely been loving in this palette. Um, I got this palette, I picked this palette up I think from TJ Maxx. So if you guys don't know, TJ Maxx or like Marshalls, they also sell like BH Cosmetics, they sell MAC. They sell like a bunch of stuff um, there in there. So I did pick this up from, I think it was $6.99 and I got 10 shades. So yeah, I definitely picked this up and... Like I said, these peachy colors right here, this more peachy color, and then this more like brownish peachy color shade. Um, I am wearing this on my um, cheekbones today, and I'm just super obsessed, um, especially on those like no makeup days. I'm going to be referring to everything to no makeup days just because like I feel like it's best. Um, it's the best like, you know, situation to compare it to. But yeah. I really been loving these two blushes out of this palette and I'm really starting to try to get back into wearing blushes because at first I was wearing a lot of blushes and then I kind of like slowed down from wearing blushes but now I'm kind of picking back up on blushes so I definitely been going to this palette a lot for my um, up brushes. next you guys know that um Ever since I've been wearing lashes, I have been using the hair glue, and um, I just, I don't know, like something came over me, I watched a live video or something on um, Facebook, and I watched a live talking about, you know, hair glue and stuff. So, lately I have been using this duo glue. Now, I tried this before a while back, but I tried it in the um, the white clear one, whatever. Um, that one did not work. Like, it took so long for that glue to dry. Like, my makeup was, like, melting off by the time that glue dried. <laughs> but, um, I was like, I'll give it a try this time, and I'll give it a try in the dark shade. And I definitely, definitely like the dark shade. I have been using this for, like, almost, I think, want to say two months, maybe. Um, and I really, really like it. Um, y'all don't use hair glue on your lashes but to each his own but yes I definitely picked this up and I do like this so I definitely will be repurchasing this instead of like the hair glue just to be on like the safer side and stuff like that but yes I definitely been loving this duo glue and this one is in the shade dark I think the clear one is in the shade like, like a color blue and then this one is the dark one Okay, up next, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the face. Um, this is my Daily Moisturizer from e.l.f. You guys know how I feel about this if you've been watching my channel for so long. 
this moisturizer is so bomb and I think it's like 10 bucks at Walmart I think that's where I got this from um, this is my second one and I'm just super obsessed with this um, I put this on when I don't wear makeup and I like after I wash my face and I do like all the other stuff that I do to my face I put this on and I just go out the door like those days that I don't wear makeup like so most of the time it's usually this or like a spray or something but this is so moisturized if you have very dry skin um, my skin is a super dry if you have very dry skin this will be perfect for you this is bang right here like I feel like um, like you can't go wrong with this I was using the Cetaphil like for the moisturizer but this one is so much better like I love this and like I said I think this is like $10 at Walmart um, so yeah I definitely been loving this um let's get this palette out of the way because it's only one palette that I've been going to for the longest and if you've been watching my latest videos then you definitely know what palette it is I'm super happy that I picked this up because let me tell y'all something I was definitely not about to pick this palette up when I first seen it when I first seen like reviews and stuff I'm like no nah, I'm not gonna even get that palette but baby I don't know what came over me and something was like girl you need that palette so I ended up ordering it from Morphe and when it came ever since then I have been using it non-stop and the palette that I'm I'm talking about is the Morphe Dare to Create palette. Y'all, I'm super obsessed with this palette. I'm gonna keep apologizing for it because like I have so many looks to plan that I have planned for this look. Um, I did film this look and I did use this palette with it. This look will be up after this video, I think. Yes, this look will be up after this video. And I, like I said, I did use this palette. Like I'm so obsessed. Like I don't I think it's still available if you guys don't have this palette and you're trying to contemplate on getting this palette y'all need to definitely get this palette because it's bomb.com so I'm pretty sure this you guys know what it looks like it just has a bunch of colors in here and if you are a, you know a freelance makeup artist or you're just a makeup enthusiast and you just want to you just collect makeup that's fine y'all definitely need this in your collection because these shades like I got so many looks I have a Valentine's Day look coming using this palette I just cannot like I can't I cannot with this palette like I'm super obsessed and it's been the only palette that I've been going to for a while and yeah I just wanted to mention in here and this palette this packaging is gorgeous like please honey so up next I want to talk about let's just talk about some foundations because I have two foundations here that I want to mention um the first foundation that I do want to mention is the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation now I've been wanting to try this foundation for a long time and everybody was saying you know order it online but I don't like ordering like foundations online so my Walmart finally got Milani I have two Walmarts but the one that does is not by me on you know far away from me got it and I finally went to go pick it up and I got the shade uh, 11a nutmeg and it is the uh, foundation that I'm wearing on my face today and y'all I am obsessed with this foundation I seen about the hype and I can say that the hype is real I haven't tried it that many times this is like my second time trying this foundation and I am obsessed like it has my skin looking super super smooth and the coverage is unbelievable like when I pumped it out like I was just like I didn't expect it to be that thick like I knew they were saying that it was thick but I did not think that it was this thick but this is bomb like I still use the concealer with it even though it says that it has a concealer you know mixed in I definitely still use a concealer with it because I'm extra ass thick so yes I definitely um love another this. foundation that I've been loving you guys if you guys do not have this foundation you definitely need to pick it up this is the Maybelline 24 hour um, foundation this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation and I got the shade um, 355 coconut I just matched it with the other um, you know Maybelline fit me products I just matched it with that y'all now I've tried this multiple times I've had this for a while um, this has got to be my 
favorite foundation at the drugstore. Maybelline Period is like my favorite go-to drugstore um, company just because they they have a full wide range of things. They have something for everybody. Now Maybelline has always came through on the foundations. Like they never fail me on the foundation. And this foundation baby is so bomb. Y'all definitely need to pick this up. Um, like I said, I got this from my local Walmart and um, I think it was like $10.99 or $11.99. Don't get me wrong. But yes, I definitely picked this up and I'm super obsessed with it. I have been wearing it non-stop since I picked it up. Okay, speaking of Maybelline, um, I want to mention a quick little mention of the Total Temptation um, Maybelline Mascara. i definitely been loving this mascara. I got this in a box box. Um, I did not you know pay anything that was sent to me for free so i did get that in a box box and y'all i love this mascara i usually don't really care about mascaras because i feel like they all do the same thing but this one i feel like definitely gives me a little bit extra length in it and i love the brush and it's like super super dark like i just love this brush on this i don't know if you guys can see it but i just love the way mascara smell i don't know <laughs> but i definitely been loving this little mascara up next, I do want to talk about a little concealer. Y'all, I swear this video is not sponsored by Maybelline, but Maybelline, if you watch it, hook your girl up. But anyway, this is the Maybelline Adrian Wine Dark Circle Eraser. Now, I don't have dark circles, but I really, really like this um, concealer for like everyday, no makeup makeup days because it's like super lightweight, but it still get, has that coverage. The only thing that I don't like is this little um, applicator. I just don't think that's sanitary like I want to wash it off you know but um yes I really been loving this it's just like a little twist up like you know you twist it up like that um I really been loving this to conceal and highlight and I got the shade golden and I think they came out with some new shades because at first I don't think um when I first tried this I don't think they ever had this shade so yes I've been loving that um I want to talk about a setting spray like I told you guys Maybelline finally came to Walmart so I finally was able to pick up the Milani make it last first of all I want to I got a bone to pick with this because when I seen this online they made it seem so much bigger than what it was like I feel like I was jipped like I thought this was like bigger like this is the same like I mean it's bigger than this but it's about the same size as this foundation like I thought it was way bigger but um the handful of times that I did use this I really did like it um I was trying to get the um what is it make it dewy um but they were sold out so I definitely want to get that one and try but this has been a um good setting spray and it says it's supposed to last up to 16 hour where i ain't tried it that long but i definitely been loving that another thing that i want to mention is this l'oreal infallible glow lock primer baby i like this primer um i've used it a couple times um i did use it under this makeup today and it does illuminate it's like a um pink pink tone um put some on the back of my hand and show y'all so it is like a pink tone and then once you rub it in it does give your skin I don't know if you guys can see that but it does give your skin a little a luminosity and it's kind of hydrating too um it's not like super stiff and it doesn't have a smell to it but I definitely been using this and I love this oh yeah a few more things y'all I got um I got two highlighters and I got my lippy so the two highlighters that I want to mention is both from the drugstore one is from Maybelline and you guys know I love the Maybelline Master Chrome line but this one is the um multi gold it is the highlighter that i'm wearing not multi gold multi rose gold it is the highlighter that i am wearing on my skin today <clears throat> you guys already know how i feel about the gold one let me see if i got this gold one so i can show y'all how it look girl so y'all already know i i love the gold one now i can't show y'all show y'all because it's like broke and like look at that like i only got a few pieces left like I love this. I love this. So when they came out with this multi rolls going, I had to pick it up and I have definitely been loving it. Um, it's not too pinky and it's not too, you know, standoffish. Um, it looks just, it looks super good on my skin. It lays good on my skin and I have definitely been going to this one. And another highlighter that I've been going to, which I think is a new one. This is the uh, L'Oreal 
crushed foil metallic highlighter um i seen this a while ago and i picked it up and i've been using it now this is like a different type of highlighter just because it's kind of foil so when i pick it up on my hand it kind of comes out in like chunks i don't know if you guys can see that and then here it's like chunking off but the coverage, I mean, the highlighter is good itself, but it's just kind of flaky, but I don't mind that. And as you guys can see, look at that. That, that highlighter is bomb.com. Like, yes, hunty. So I definitely been loving that. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's super, super pigmented. As you guys can see, I still have a bunch on my hand because it's foiled it kind of like clunks together I don't know how to explain it but you guys can see here like even with that L'Oreal infallible uh, glow lock it's still like glowing like yes honey I love it so we're down to the nitty-gritty y'all I got four um, products the first for one that I want to mention is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today which is this from black radiance and it is the uh, perfect tone matte lip cream and this one is in the shade 5405 um, I definitely love these if you're looking for some affordable lipsticks like liquid lipsticks that's not too matte um, I definitely say check these out they're more on the moussey side so um, when you put them on they're more like mousse and as you guys can see it does dry down and like I said it's not cracky it's not none of that um, I have a couple of these Milani one I mean not Milani these couple of these black radiance ones and they have like a whole bunch of colors they have like green they have the orange they have nudes they have browns they have all types of colors I definitely definitely love these and this is a cruelty free brand so just in case you guys are wondering so the last well I got two more the next one that I want to mention is this tardiest lip paint from Tarte um this one is in the shade grunge when I used to work at Ulta and I used to come in and I'm like I need a lipstick or I didn't want to wear one of the lipsticks I wore this is the one that I always wore when I was working at Ulta and you see me with like a brownish kind of lip this was the one that I was wearing because I was super obsessed and the the formula of this is like super moussey also and the wand is a super like flat oh my god I love this color and it's super thick and this is what it looked like the only thing that I don't like about this is like the smell it has like that um like that minty like minty smell but yes this is it Ugh, I love it it almost looks like the color that I have on now from uh, black radiance but yes I love that so the last two that I have that I want to mention um, kind of goes together every time I wear them I wear them together so the first one is the um, Urban Decay lipstick and this is in abstract and this is from the uh, I forgot oh the John Jean Michael Basquet the collaboration where they did with the artist um, and like I said this is in a shade abstract and it's a cream and I love this shade this is like my my nude that I always go to with the brown lip liner like I cannot get enough of this shade and it's not too light like I don't know if you guys can see that y'all probably can't see that but it's right there like it's super nude um it's like an everyday nude for me and i just love the creaminess of it with a brown lip liner and to top it off with the next gloss that i'm about to talk about people ask me all the time every time i wear this gloss what gloss is that what gloss is that every time somebody asks me you know i'm looking for a gloss and i don't want it too sticky i always and they're like my skin tone i always recommend this this is the shade madeline um in the nyx butter gloss y'all I love this gloss I've gone through like two or three of these and I just love this gloss because I feel like it's the perfect gloss for us melanin girls and like ugh, I just can't get enough and I usually wear it on top of this one so every time you see me with a nude lip and a gloss most likely nines out of ten is these um, it's these two um, lip products and then I'll just show you what it looks like like on top so I just put the lip gloss on top 
and that is what it looks like right there so guys that concludes this favorites video i hope you guys like it I hope you guys can pick up some things that i mentioned here these have just been the products that i've been going to lately like um i haven't been doing my makeup a lot but when i do when i do do it these have been the products that i've been going to going to like i said i wasn't going to do a 2000 um 17 beauty haul but if you guys want me to do one go ahead and like this video i definitely can do one because there was some products that i was definitely loving you guys saw them in my videos um like i said if you want me to do one of those go ahead and like this video and then just like this video just because and um if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe like i said before and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video